you are tuned in to the YouTube channel of Mahajan Computers. Today we are going to discuss about the throws clause in Java. See students, uh, when, when, when do we use throws clause? See, when we want that the caller of a method should handle the exception thrown by its called method then in front of its called method we are supposed to write throws clause and uh, before that we will understand the hierarchy of the exception classes see the supermost class the top super class of all the exception classes happens to be throwable class then we have got two subclasses exception class and error class first I should tell you as far as error exception types are concerned we cannot handle them in our program so we won't be talking about them and we come to we come back to this uh, exception class type see exception classes uh, uh, exception class has got another subclass called runtime exception now runtime exception uh, has all the exceptions which are automatically which have been automatically defined in the java when we people are working listen carefully when we people are working in the runtime exception we are going to handle the runtime exception class there is no need to use the throws clause throws clause needs to be used only when we are dealing with the following exception classes you can note them down uh, when to use throws clause when pv people are using class not found exception illegal access exception and interrupted exception i should repeat it again when do we use throws clause we people use throws clause when we want that the caller of the method should handle the exception of the called method so then in the called method we people use the throws clause i would explain it and throws clause is not required in all the exceptions it is required only when we people are dealing with these three exception classes namely class not found exception illegal exception illegal access exception and uh, interrupted exception okay i would explain it with the help of uh, an example this is a program in which i have got a static method in the main class uh, called sample and i have used throws illegal exception because uh, as far as illegal access exception class is concerned if uh, this is going to be handled by the caller of the method then we should use the throws clause this is uh, a simple uh, simple uh, statement we have declared uh, the variables a b and c and we have initialized the values of a by 10 and that of b by minus 7 then i have gone in for a simple expression a into b the result will be put into c and what i want is if the value of c happens to be less than 0 i want to throw the exception manually so i am going in for this illegal exception class illegal exception ar is equal to new illegal exception output can't be negative so i have just created an object of the illegal exception class and uh, then I am going to throw this. Uh, see carefully, this will happen only and of only if the value of C happens to be less than zero. Anyways, if we C is not less than zero, as uh, you might have guessed, the control will come to this statement valid output, and that will be printed. Let us assume that this exception has occurred. Now, see, I am using the throw clause. I am using the throw clause, but there is uh, no try catch block in the sample method so let's go back to the main method from uh, where your execution will start see the call of the method sample has been written within the try block and uh, the catch block happens to be of illegal access access exception right when control will go into the sample uh, method uh, the value of c will come out to be uh, less than zero as per this example 
and uh, an object would be created of illegal exception class illegal access exception class and that will be thrown and it will be handled by the catch block of the caller method that is the method main and uh, system dot out print and it will print the RMS. let me execute this program yeah uh, the error has been exception has been thrown and output can't be negative is getting printed on the screen now see uh, I am going to remove this throws clause throws illegal exception class see note carefully that the throw statement has been underlined suggesting that it is having an error it is because the illegal access when we people are using illegal access exception class it is must that it should be used with the throws clause if it is going to be handled by its caller now I am going to change this program a bit and I would be explaining that throws clause is not at all necessary when we are using other exception classes like arithmetic exception array index out of bounds exception null pointer exception and uh, number format exception etc see arithmetic throws arithmetic exception I'm not going to use it what I am going to do is let me change this here also the change will take place uh, catch block is going to belong to arithmetic exception arithmetic exception now see carefully we don't see any any line which is uh, any statement which is uh, red underlined suggesting that the program will run ok and see carefully I have not this time over I have not used throws arithmetic exception class but even then our program will work ok see the execution of the program yes it has been executed successfully but when I was using illegal exception class it was mandatory that I should have used throws illegal exception class before uh, the method sample so that's all uh, that we have learnt about the throws clause we will meet next time thank you